Okay, example 8. A white light is incident on the soap film of refractive index 1.3 in air. The reflected light looks bluish because the red light of the wavelength 670 nanometer is absent in the refraction. State the condition for the disruptive interference. Okay, condition for disruptive interference. First, kita kena tengok dulu lah. Destructive interference ni adalah case in phase ataupun anti phase. Okay, so you kena lukis dulu lah. Okay, draw first. Dia adalah on soap firm lah. Soap firm ni kita panggil dia macam belon lah. Okay, soap kan macam buih. Okay, buih. Yang kita kata dalam dia air, luar dia air. So, korang nak cari surface ni. Okay, so saya buat kerata rentas dia. Okay. So, dia akan jadi tiga layer. First layer, second layer, and third layer. Okay, so it's come from, maksudnya third, uh, third refractive index. First refractive index, second refractive index, and the third refractive index. So, maksudnya it's come from the two layer with three refractive index. Okay, boleh faham kot? Right, so kita lukis dulu. Okay, so we have this one. And then, uh, 1.0. And then the second one is about um, salt firm lah. Okay, salt firm adalah 1.30. Okay, then dia, dia punya dekat dalam pun 1.0. Maksudnya ni lah. 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So, first. First ray. Okay, first ray. From apa? Ha, first ray ni kita kena tengok lah from apa to apa. Okay. First ray is come from lower to higher. Lower to higher refractive index, dia ada pi phase change. Okay, clear. For the second one, okay, this layer, this ray, okay, so 1.30 to 1 means that higher refractive index to lower refractive index means that no phase change. So, the case is no phase change in pi phase change means that dia adalah anti anti phase. Antiphase yang apa? Absent. Absent means negative but. So, dia adalah destructive. So, kamu kena baca betul-betul lah. So, the case for this question number 8 is a antiphase destructive. So, formula untuk antiphase destructive. Ah, you boleh tengok notes lah eh. Saya tak letak pula kat sini. Okay, antiphase and destructive. Maksudnya antiphase ni dia memang kawan dengan destructive. That's why formula tak ada setengah. Okay, formula dia adalah. Okay, dia kata condition kan. Maksudnya dia adalah 2 anti is equal to m lambda. Ni lah condition dia. Maksudnya equation yang kita akan guna. Okay, so what is the minimum thickness of the soap firm? Okay, so formula yang akan guna adalah antiphase yang destructive. Antiphase destructive formula adalah 2 nt is equal to m lambda. Bila kita sebut pasal minimum thickness, so ordernya kena minimum. Thickness minimum directly proportional dengan order, so order should be minimum. Tapi tengok, bila you punya equation adalah m lambda, bukan m plus half lambda, m lambda. Jadi order berapa yang sesuai untuk kita letak supaya t ni kita dapat minimum thickness. So, kita akan letak M dia sama dengan 1. Kenapa 1? Kenapa tak letak kosong, Madam? Because M lambda. Kalau M ni kosong, dia letak darab dengan lambda, dia akan dapat kosong. Thickness kosong bukan thickness minimum. Jadi, yang sesuai adalah 1. Okay, faham eh? Alright. So, kita masukkan nilai. N is 1.3. Thickness. Order adalah 1. Wavelength nya is? Wavelength 670 nanometer. 670 times 10. Power of negative 9. Okay. So, kita akan dapat T minimumnya adalah equal to Okay. 2.58 times 10 to power of negative 7 meter. Ha, macam tu. Boleh? 